<clears throat> Hello there, YouTube. Okay, I've uh, decided to do this testimony about my experiences of uh, going to hell twice. Uh, I've wrote about them before, you know, put them on Facebook, but I've uh, never done a video until now. Uh, I just feel the the urge to do it. So I think we're really out of the end times. And uh, if you're going to die without Jesus in your life, you're in a lot of trouble. Whether you believe me or not, you're still in a lot of trouble. So here we go. Uh, my first experience, I was uh, I was about twelve or thirteen. It was uh, on the way to school one morning. I used to uh, meet me uh, a couple of mates at the bus stop. Uh, this one morning, we're playing a, a silly game, like a hyperventilation game. You kind of bend bend over, take like 15 breaths and then someone will press on your chest and you'll pass out basically. Uh, when it comes to my turn, I don't remember anything be before I knew it. Uh, I found myself on the floor uh, feeling like my back was being uh, grazed, like we're being, you know, pulled, scraped. Uh, anyway, I looked up. It's always flat my back. Looked up. And what I saw was a hideous, grotesque creature dragging me along by my feet in a cave. With, with lots of fire about. Uh, then I woke up. Uh, just led flat out on the pavement, looking up at the sky. Just thought it was a, you know, strange dream. While I was knocked out, so you know, I didn't, I didn't think nothing else of that till, till about three years ago. Uh, that's when I uh, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I won't get into how I got there in life, but I did. And uh, excuse me, I started thinking about hell one night. And uh, th th that mem that memory come back to me, you know. And I was thinking, you know, what if, what if I, I did go to hell there? Uh, anyway, I prayed. I spoke to God about that, and I asked uh, if there was any chance if I could see hell, if I could see it again. Uh, it was uh, getting, you know, it, I've always found it an interesting topic within the Bible. Uh, so I asked. Well, the, the Bible says, ask and you shall get. And that's exactly what I got. About, uh, about a month later, went to bed one night. Wasn't it? Wasn't even thinking, you know, about uh, any anything biblical. Uh, you know, just an early early night. Got work in the morning. Anyway, uh, as I was dozing off, before I knew it, I found myself standing up. Uh, coming through. Can can 
it's hard to explain. Kind of like a a big puddle, big puddle of water, about neck high. Uh, as I was looking round, I found myself in. It was like a, a kind of a, an enclosed cave, like a holding cell. Uh, and there were, there were little gaps in the, in the rocks, you know, that you could peek through. Uh, as soon as I did peek through, like, uh, there was like a big 12 foot silhouette, kind of just, and I kind of jumped back. I thought, what the fucking hell? Uh, and then, then uh, obviously, I kind of looked round to see if it was going to come round in another exit. Uh, anyway, as, as I made a full turn around, a young girl, about 17 or 18 years old, popped up through the water as well. Like neck high, like I was. And uh, I just found myself in a very serious stir and eye, eye contact with her. Uh, she had eyes like sh sh she were feeling something that I wasn't. Uh, she looked petrified and she, she'd only just got there. Uh, at this point, that big 12 foot silhouette come through come through an entrance I, I guess and it was in the 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 little holding cell with us uh, obviously as I moved my head to look at it the girl turned around and saw it uh, you should have heard her scream oh shit shit uh, it was like her lungs were gargling the, the scream were that intense uh, but I, I wasn't feeling any fear no fear whatsoever I was obviously protected by God and this girl wasn't uh, at this point, the, the girl, some round, the, excuse me, the, the girl turned back rounds to kind of look at me for help. Uh, at that point, I knew I was going and she knew I was going. She started nodding her head, you know, like, no, 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 no. Uh, and then I woke up. And uh, I knew exactly what had just happened. And that place is horrible. Uh, God only knows what it's like without, without God's protection in there with you. And the, uh, the the thought that really disturbs me, and I think about it every day, is that that girl's still there. She's still there. I think I think of that girl every day. I I, uh, I know her face. She's uh, she's there for eternity. And all because she didn't know Jesus Christ. All because of that one simple thing of asking Jesus Christ to save you. So it ain't no joke. This shit ain't no joke. It's 
if you if if you believe or not, that's your choice. That's your decision at end end of the day. Uh, but I've done my job and I've told you. That, that, that's all I can say. Uh, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. He truly is the Son of God, the Christ. He was crucified in three days after us in the flesh. For he is the Messiah. See you later.